Hi folks, this is Miss Prada. I am attempting something different today. I'm going to read a nonfiction book titled 20 Fun Facts About Bats. Enjoy. Fun Fact File, Animals. 20 Fun Facts About Bats. Written by Heather Moore Niver. Hold the Bat. Bats may be one of the most misunderstood animals around. Many of us have heard strange stories about bats turning into vampires or getting stuck in people's hair. Bats are actually shy and tend to avoid people. Bats are often mistaken for other animals, such as mice or birds. Actually, they are flying mammals. They're clean, fuzzy animals that spend lots of time keeping their soft fur. Their fur can be shades of brown, tan, gray, or black, with bits of red, yellow, or orange. Black flying fox bats live mainly along the northern coast of Australia. Okay, dear boys and girls, I included a map of Australia, and the capital of Australia is actually Canberra. So what is a bat? Fact one, bats aren't furry birds or flying mice. Because they fly, bats are sometimes confused with birds. Some people call bats flying mice. But bats aren't like birds or mice at all. Scientists put bats in their own group called Chiroptera, which means hand wing. Up, up and away. Fact two. Bats can be as big as an eagle or as small as a bee. Giant bats, called flying foxes, have a wingspan of up to 6.2 feet, two meters. Bumblebee bats are the smallest mammal in the world. They weigh less than a dime and have a wingspan of about six inches, 15 centimeters. Bat fingers have the same number of bones that ours do. However, they are longer and skinnier. Fact three, bats have fingers and thumbs just like you. Thumbs help bats walk, climb, and hold food. A bat's thumb is small, but it has a claw. It looks like bats don't have fingers, but check out their wings. They have four long skinny fingers on each hand or wing. Fact four, bats and frogs have something in common. Bats have thin rubbery skin between their fingers just like frogs have skin between their toes. Bats use this skin to fly just like frogs use it to swim. Some bats fly up to 20 miles, 32 kilometers an hour. Making sense of bat senses. Fact five. If you're blind as a bat, you can see pretty well. Most bats see as well as humans. Bat eyes work well in the dark. Most bats see in black and white. However, fruit bats see some color. Fruit bats can have large eyes that gather lots of light. Insect eating bats usually have smaller eyes. Fact six, bats can see in total darkness by using sound. Some bats use a process called echolocation to locate hard to see objects. Bats shout loudly and figure out how far away something is by how long it takes for the second sound to bounce back from the object. People can't usually hear these sounds. Fact seven, bats with bigger ears hear more sounds. Bats ears collect lots of sounds. The bigger their ears, the more they can hear. This means their echolocation calls can be quieter. Some bats have a flap of skin on each ear called a tragus. Scientists think this helps them hear too. Leaf-nosed bats have a flap of skin above their noses. Scientists think the flap may aid them in echolocation. 
fact eight. A mother bat can find her baby in the dark by smell alone. Bats have an excellent sense of smell. Fruit bats use it to find food. Bats mark themselves and other bats in their colony with a certain smell. This may be how they find their colonies. What's on the bat menu? Fact nine. Vampire bats are the only mammals that eat nothing but blood. Yes, vampire bats drink blood. Most get it from livestock or birds, not people. They only need a small helping of blood every night. There are more than 1,100 kinds of bats, but only three kinds are vampire bats. The vampire bat in the picture is feeding on blood from a horse. What's for dinner? Just three kinds of bats eat blood. A few bats eat frogs, mice, birds, fish, or other bats. Some bats eat nectar from flowers. Many bats eat fruit. 70% of the bats in the world eat insects. The bat in the picture caught a frog for dinner. Fact 10, a mother bat can eat her own weight in insects each night. Many bats eat insects. If you don't like mosquitoes, you might be happy to know that the little brown bat can eat up to 1,000 mosquitoes an hour. Some bats eat frogs, birds, and even other kinds of bats. Fact 11. Some bats have tongues longer than their body. Some bats use their long tongues to get nectar from flowers. Desert bats drink nectar from cactus flowers. Nectar bats use their long tongues to get their food. The tube-lipped nectar bat is the size of a small mouse, but its tongue is about 3.5 inches, 8.9 centimeters long. Bats and flowers. Fact 12. Bats help flowers and trees grow. As fruit bats fly, they drop seeds from fruits they've eaten. This helps grow new trees. Nectar bats pollinate flowers. As they drink, pollen gets on their face. It rubs off at the next flower. The pollen helps the plant make fruit. Common foods pollinated by bats. Starting at the bottom, figs, cashews, mangoes, almonds, bananas, clove, dates, guavas, peaches, coconuts, and avocados. At home with bats. Fact 13. Bats live just about everywhere people do. Bats live all over the world, except where it's very cold. Most of the world's bats prefer jungles or rainforest. There are about 45 kinds of bats in the United States. Most live in warmer southern states. This is a bat box, which is kind of like a birdhouse for bats. Fact 14. Bats spend all day sleeping upside down. Bats sleep, or roost, all day while hanging from their feet. Their toes and claws are curved so they don't fall. Many bats like to roost in hidden places, such as caves or under tree bark. Others sleep out in the open. Fact 15. Some bats go all winter without eating. Some bats rest or sleep all winter while the weather is cold and food is hard to find. This is called hibernation. The bats eat lots of food in the summer and fall to keep them from going hungry while they hibernate. Hibernating bats often sleep close together to keep warm. On the road with bats. Fact 16. Some bats travel to warmer areas for the winter. Some bats fly to warmer parts of the world for the winter. This is called migration. Food is easier to find in warmer places. Sometimes the bats fly back and forth between the same roosts year after year. Batty families. 
Fact 17. More than 20 million bats live in Bracken Cave in Texas each summer. Many bats live in colonies. The colonies may be huge. However, each bat family is small. A bat mother usually has only one baby or pup each year. Bats live about 20 years. One bat is said to have lived for 41 years. And that, my friend, is a picture of Bracken Cave, which is in Texas. Fact 18. Bat babies learn how to fly by the time they're three weeks old. Baby bats are blind and deaf at birth. Strong back legs help them hang onto their mothers in the roost. A mother bat feeds her pup milk from her body. The pup grows quickly and are flying within three weeks. Fun fact, vampire bats have been known to raise young bats that have lost their parents. Staying alive. Fact 19. Bats have existed for about 50 million years. Bats have been around much longer than people, but some are in danger of dying out. Several kinds of U.S. bats are endangered. In the wild, bats are hunted by animals such as owls and snakes. An illness called white nose syndrome is killing many bats. Other bats die when people destroy the forest and caves where they live. The bat in the picture has white nose syndrome. Fact 20. A bat may have saved your favorite food. Bats help with more than pollination. Bat guano has been used as fertilizer for many years. Bats that hunt insects help control pests that ruin crops. Mexican free-tailed bats love to dine on corn earworm moths, which destroy crops, such as watermelon. In the picture, folks, you will find wind turbines, like the one shown here, can help create clean energy. However, they can harm bats that fly into them. Batty about bats. Once you get past some of the silly stories and learn the facts, you realize that bats are helpful, interesting animals. For example, echolocation works better than anything humans have invented for flying around the dark night skies. Bats have been around for 50 million years. That means they've been around much longer than humans. They're important for pollination and pest control. People need to help keep bat homes safe. That way, bats can hang around for another 50 million years. In this picture, you can see this vampire bat's pointy teeth, which allows the bat to break the animal's skin and get to its blood. Isn't he cute? Hey boys and girls, this is the glossary. The glossary is a place where we can find where some words that are in bold text what they mean. Echolocation is a way of locating objects by producing sounds that bounce off objects. In danger, a danger of dying out. Fertilizer, something that makes soil better for growing crops and other plants. Guano, bat or bird droppings. Mammal, a warm-blooded animal that has backbone and hair it breathes air and feeds milk to its young. Nectar, a sweet liquid found in flowers. Pollinate, to take pollen from one flower, plant, or tree to another. Syndrome is an illness or a disorder. Wingspan is the length between the tip of a pair of wings that are stretched out. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed learning about bats with me and learn how important they are for our ecosystem. This has been Miss Prada. Until next time.